Yo, what's cooking? It's Sheffy. So before I start the video, make sure you guys subscribe as I really appreciate every subscriber. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys everything I've learned climbing to Godseeker in Chime of Conflict and everything I've learned fighting other Godseekers and Grandmasters. So the first tip is to find a build that you are extremely comfortable on. In other words, find a build to main. It doesn't really matter if the build carries you. I don't really believe in build carried players. As long as you're comfortable on the build, keep learning new patterns and playstyles for yourself. If you can't decide on a build, you can always copy top chime builds from YouTubers like me, Nogo, Sheep, Far, and play their builds and see how you like them. Next, start learning movement. This all comes from the dodging or rolling mechanic, but there are other ways to master this and use it aggressively. First, I want to talk about mantra rolling. This might get patched, but I'm going to tell you guys anyway. It's a mechanic that allows you to boost yourself with a roll and casting a mantra at the same time, making you move extremely fast. You can do this by casting a mantra and instantly pressing Q, and this has to be done very quickly. There's also something called the Cladrum Roll, where you roll cancel at the last few frames of your roll. This gives you more iframes compared to an instant roll cancel, and this is used on more passive playstyles. If you're not the best at parrying, I suggest you start learning this type of roll. Next, learn to master feints. Fainting is very strong as it's very quick and hard to react to. Many medium and light players find this mechanic to be extremely strong. Fainting mantras is also heavily encouraged, especially on Gale Breath builds. There's also another way of fainting that is extremely pressuring and powerful. Missing your M1s intentionally can get your enemy to waste their parry frames and move into blocking frames. And as their posture builds up, they're going to have to start playing differently, trying to remove their posture or getting guard broken. Players using the enchant stone will increase the effectiveness of this mechanic. You should try to miss your M1s after parrying, then move in with another M1 or a mantra. Next, learn powerful mantra combos. Right now, there are players out there who abuse crazy combos that are true and usually do at least a bar or two of your health. There used to be the dazing combos where you get dazed and hit by mantras that cannot be parried, like Ice Eruption and Radiant Dawn. You should always try to find combos for your build even if it's not true. If you can find something true, make sure to exploit it, learn how to land the combo, and how to capitalize off of it. It doesn't necessarily have to be a long string of combos, a simple 2-3 mantra combo is fine. Next, try to adapt. What I mean by this is to see what your opponents tend to do, like how they build up combos, what they abuse, and figure out ways to counter it. This all heavily relies on your decision making because there are numerous builds out there and many unique players that have unique playstyles. If you can learn to adapt mid-game to certain builds, you tend to not make certain mistakes against the builds you're fighting. You should also try to look at your own gameplay by just watching back replays of your fights, spot any habits that are impacting your gameplay in both negative and positive ways. That's gonna be it for this video, make sure you guys subscribe and see ya.